buds and holes. The tattered look is all the rage in jeans fashion this year, and stars are leading the craze. For anyone who wants to stay fashion forward, this year's number one trend is the destroyed look, but it doesn't necessarily come cheap. At fancy boutiques, a destroyed look pair of jeans can cost up to 800 euros. In this pair, everything's done by hand. There are specialists who wash the pants, rip them, treat them with brushes or nail files, dirt, tar, grease, whatever they want. Sometimes the whole process takes weeks until the designers get the desired effect that we see in the stores. Baggy boyfriend jeans, a mini skirt, or hip huggers in white. They can all be bought looking trashed. Both men and women can sport the destroyed look. The tattered and torn style has taken the jeans world by storm. Klaus Metz from International Fashion University Esmod explains. We live in really fast-paced times. We just don't have time. Jeans can express a particular feeling, so some people want to buy that used look. You want to give the impression that you're anti-establishment with destroyed jeans and a fabulous mohair Armani jacket. Trend number two, patchwork jeans. Major fashion brands like Chloe or Trusadi featured the resourceful style in their spring-summer collections. The trend is hardly new. Actress Jane Birkin patched together a look in the 1970s and created a fashion craze. This patchwork jacket is from the 80s. Today, it's jackets cobbled together from curtains, blankets, and, of course, jeans. This one was modeled on the traditional Japanese boro, the jacket farmers used to wear in the fields. The word boro simply means rags. The trend reflects a social movement. We now have a new generation of consumers who really think about their resources. What's easier than grabbing your old pair of jeans or two old pairs and using them to make a new, hip, completely modern pair of jeans that look great and don't cost anything? That's definitely the trend. Trend number three, denim accessories. Whether it's shoes, corsets or bags, everything is made out of denim and paired with jeans. But don't worry, denim on denim isn't considered a fashion no-no this year. It's back in style. Klaus Metz believes jeans are universal. Jeans are the finest example of a worldwide revolution. Dictators tried to force a certain type of style on people, but jeans broke the mold. They're a cultural phenomenon. Jeans have the power to cut through all levels of society. That's what makes them so fascinating. So whether you prefer shabby or chic, denim is in, and not just as jeans.